And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. I am Baller Scuba, and always I am joined by Mario and his friend Mallow. I assume they're friends. We are headed to the Kiro Sewers. I have changed the settings of this a little bit. Hopefully it gets a lot better for you guys. I was a little concerned about the size of the files I was outputting and all that good stuff. Uh, yes, down. Into the sewers we go! Awesome. It. Wait, you want me in the water? Dude, that's. It's worse than the kiddie pool in there! Dude! Dude! Fine. Oh, it's gross! Oh, it's between my toes! Oh, get out, get, get, get out! Out! Ugh. Ew, 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 ew. What's up? Sure. Okay. I have to... whatever. Down the pipe. You have the peace sign to go down the pipe? Weird. Okay, what do we... is that a fish? Nice. Uh... Ch -ch -ch. I want to go down the right one first. Whoa, it's a jumping fish! What are you guys called? Gobies? You're called gobies. And you die. Like gobies. Is that enough? Oh, too bad. Ah, uh, too early on that then. There we go. Uh, I should be able to finish off the other one. Yeah. Boom. Down goes Gobi. Flying fish. Uh, I'm gonna take that one off off screen. All right, let's go down this right tube here. Um, yeah, the water physics in this are just strange. You have to have something below you in order to jump. It's weird. I bet there's a trap in here somewhere. What the hell? Okay. Oh, this is this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a little trick here. Uh, I've seen it done a few times before, so I am confident that I know how to do it. Uh, get into the fight with the ghost and run away. Yeah, just run. And then while he's flashing, j oh, I missed it. Uh, run away again. And then, ah, no. Run away. Couldn't run. You can run though, can't you? You're a little, oh, crybaby, couldn't run. Oh, he doesn't do that much damage anyways. Run. Thank you. And then, boom, we jump up here, which is awesome. And then we need to jump over here. And what do we find over here? We find a treasure chest. You guys ready? Let's go! Kill all that. Level up. Where are you? There you are. Mwahaha. That's all we can get out of it. Mario reaches level six. Sweet. Look at all those numbers. And we learned super jump. Awesome. Uh, goes up by two, goes up by three, goes up by one. Power! That's what the game wants me to do, I swear is it. Jump, jump. There we go. I need to go up the top one. You know what? Hmm, hold on for just one second. No, I was wrong. I want to go down the bottom one. Yeah, there we go. And we fight a new enemy here. This is a poison-wielding douchebag. Rat funks. I love these sprites on these, on these rats. I wish they would bring them back. They do carry a lot of coins, by the way. Yeah, just one. We got uh, six coins and an able juice, so we are able to beat them. Ah, oh, stupid rat fell all the way down. Alright, so what do we got in here? Flower. And another rat. I bet there's rats behind every single one of these, yes. In that battle, uh, Mallow got poisoned, but it appears that that's a battle long effect. Like, as soon as the battle's over, it's over. Oh, there's something down there. Oh, I want it. Can I get to it? I'm going for it. Screw it. 
and here we go into pretty much boss time here. It's a mimic. It's a treasure chest. He's weak to jump, so I'm going to go for a super jump here. On the Pandorite. Yes. Oh, I failed at it miserably, but that's alright. He's not too tough. Uh, with the super jump, you can actually keep jumping. Uh, it doesn't just stop at two. You can do it multiple times. I was hoping to show that off, but I just failed at it. But he shouldn't be. There shouldn't be too much left in his HP, so I'm just gonna fight him off after this. Oh no, six damage, seven damage. Hey, you're supposed to be dead by now. Damn. That's what that boss had. Screw it. Regular jump. There we go. And for it, we get 10 experience points, 30 coins, a power jar, Mallow levels up. He learns Psychopath, because he is the Psychopath. Ah, uh, wow. Three there, four there, one there. Power once again! And we get a True Form pin. Awesome. Basically what that is, is it prevents uh, you from turning into a scarecrow. And of course there's a new enemy here, and he tries to put is in uh, Mario, but that's not going to work. I want to kill the Ragpunks first before I kill this Hobgoblin, uh, simply because um, the rat funks tend to run away a lot, and since they carry so much money, I want to do it right away. And of course I get it once again, so I'm able to do that! Die, and give me your coin. It's a big coin. Dark Claw! And it does one damage. Oh no, whatever shall I do? And down goes everybody, and we get... Ooh, we're just racking up the items here today, aren't we? Um, is there anything else I can do here? Oh, look at that. I glitched the game, baby. Ran all the way back up. Oh, oh I showed this guy, but uh, we never actually fought him. That was a rat running in the way by the time. That's a, that's a shadow. So let's take on the rat funks here. Once again, sweet. Taking on the shadow. Oh, I didn't die yet. Damage. And down goes the shadow. And there you go. Simple enough. Down the pipe we go. Oh, it just took us back here. That's no fun. Do all their enemies respawn when we do that? No, they don't. Okay. Let's go down this one then, find out what's going on. And yes, new area. There we go. That's the weirdest sounding noise I've ever heard when you enter. What? I can't, I can't jump over here, can I? No. Okay, well, let's take this guy on. So apparently there's no place to go in here. So let's just uh, go back down the, that pipe here. Hmm, where else, where else is there to go around here? I'm not sure if that's designed into the game, but I definitely managed to fix it. Alright, seems to be nowhere else to go but this other way that we passed up at the entrance. So let's go down here. Here we go, new area. Tons of rat phones, let me take them all off. Take them all on off screen, I'll meet you somewhere around here. And we're actually back in that room that we couldn't find another way out of. So it looks like we did find another way. Uh, let's go down this top one first. Actually, no. Let's let's fight you. What are you doing up here? Was he guarding something? I guess he was guarding that lower pipe down there. Hmm. Let's go down the lower one. Looks like a secret. Okay, down this pipe we go. Ooh. Wait, is this the one? No, this isn't the one that I was thinking of. Ah, oh, I fell down! And here we go, into a fight finally with one of those boos. They're actually called Big Boos. 
even though they're rather small. I don't know why they're the big booze. Uh, how pathetic would it be if Malo could take him out with a punch? Oh, and they're a ghost. This game does not obey Pokemon rules. But he does scream, which uh, kind of crushes Mario's heart. He's in a fear status here. He doesn't do nearly as much damage when he's in that status. Uh, let's take on the Shadow then. Mario can just two-shot the, the boo. Endo Bubble? I don't know what this is. Ooh, but it's dark. And he's in double fear. Lightning Orb. Uh, dodge it. Er, defend. Nah, I can't defend. Oh, I went for the shadow. Oh, he died. Lucky. Oh, I haven't shown the lucky yet. It's actually happened to me a couple times off screen, but I haven't shown it on screen. How it works, as you can see, the, the box is much bigger than normal, even though there's nothing down there. Because we're going to play a mini game here, double your experience points. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, it's basically a shell game, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't really follow. Because it should be the middle one, right? But watch me be wrong. It's a tie. See, was the one on the right? I, I don't think that it's actually, it, it actually follows the shell game as, as you know it. And I know it. I think how it works is that it just randomly picks one out of the three. Are you following me? You are. Fine. Okay, so this uh, is the spring that brings you to the entrance, I believe. So let's go ahead and push this pipe. The water has been drained. Mmm, water drainage. Let's go down here. I know there's, there's got to be a couple rooms that we still missed. Hmm. Oh, I'm tempted to go in that other pipe there. Do you guys remember how to get there? I do. Boom, I wanted to show you guys that trick again, though. That's an awesome trick, and I can't believe I pulled it off. Oh, you guys suck. Come on, jump there. There we go. All the way across, and down. Oh, now there's no water in here. Is there anything down here? There is stuff down there. I'm scared it did, but I'm gonna go this way right now. Uh, I went this way, didn't I? Apparently not, because there's lots of rats this way, so I'm gonna take them all on. Let's go! Alright, taking on rats. And do I want to take this guy on? Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get back up, so I'm just gonna avoid and go down this pipe right here. Oh, and this sends me back here. So that's where that pipe went. Hmm. Okay, so what else is going on in here? What? Okay, whatever. Down here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, I killed all the booze here. Okay. Uh, how am I going to do this? Well, I want this one here. Mushroom, yay. Uh, and look, I can't reach it up there. So... I will be right back. Give me just one second. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get that chest for you guys. I want. I left. I saved the game. Shut the game off. Came back. They still won't respawn the ghosts in here. So I do know how to get it. You wanna run away from the ghost? Jump on his head. Jump over here, and then you get the treasure chest. I'll have to do that some other time. Because I'm ending the part here. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.